that might be a hog. Oh, are you on again? Yep. Fish on! Big hog, big hog, big hog. Woo! What is going on everyone? In today's video, I went fishing with JC Fishing and Thani, two other Tampa Bay area fishing YouTubers, and we we're gonna go offshore and target some hogfish. We picked up six dozen shrimp and went out to a ledge to see what we could catch. We got shrimp flying everywhere. So the three of us got shrimp down? Yep. Okay. On. That's better. That's a group fish. Digging. That might be a hog. Got her a hog. Get him. Get him. us up at his own spot. First fish. What is this? First hog. Let it be a hog. I don't think it's a hog. That a grouper. Hog. Hog. Oh, hog. Dude. 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 That's a nice no one. No way. Good way to start. That, was that first drop That's for you? That was, uh, well, my first fish I caught. That is awesome. And that's what we came out here for. You can see he rubbed wow. up against some rocks. He's wow, bleeding a little bit amazing. on the side there. But hey, that, they're here. Is that dinner? It might be. They need to be 14 to the fork. So I think that's 15 I right think there. That's 15. It might yeah, be. That's, Usually that's, when they start turning into males like that, then they're a keeper. So right there. Oh yeah, he's 15. 15? Oh. At least 14 and a half going to 15. So that's a keeper. That's a keeper right there. I'm gonna go drop right there. All right. So we got a good little uh, good little grocery list going on in the Yeti already. Gotta get you guys one now. Yeah, the rig I'm using just a shrimp right here. Cut the tail off, kind of fit, feed the hook through. Little three eighth ounce weight right there. 20 pound liter. Are you guys using like 30 pounds? Oh, there we go. Nah, I don't think it's a hog. I think it's just a grunt. Oh, little porgy, porgy. baby porgy. Baby. I'm gonna let this guy go. Be hard to get a fillet off of him. But we're getting some delicious variety out here. See you, dude. Oh, there we go. Oh, another that's hog. Big. Another hog. It might be. Another hog. Another ho this is another hog. Dude. Nope, just nope. porgy. Not even that big. That thing. That thing. That thing whoop me. Is huge. Yeah. That thing started digging like a the hog. Colors on that. It's crazy. Oh yeah, man. they're very it's like, vibrant. It's like an ice blue color. They're like awesome. Yeah, look at that. It's gorgeous. That's like amazing. See, dude. All right. Next time someone hooks up, you have to yell "fish on." Fish on! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> on a crab. Swim it right up. Is it a hog? Big sheep. Is it really? Yeah. Offshore sheep's head. Makes sense you got him on the crab. Ooh. Here he is. Oh, it's hot and heavy now. I don't think it's a hog. Porgy. It's a mangrove. Oh, really? That's a keeper. That's a I guy. thought it was a hog at first because of how red he was. Get the hook out of you. I'll probably just let him go. Oh, Stani, you want him? No, I'm good, man. Okay. Little mangrove snapper right there. See you, dude. That one. Yes. Yeah. Well, catch one. <laughs> porgy. Oh, it's a big porgy. Oh yeah. He'll eat. Yeah, I'll throw him in. Yeah, where was uh I literally come over to your side for a half a second. Yeah, catch I'm a porgy. using the same bait as you. Nice little porgy right there who's going in the box. You get a shrimp. Uh, do I get one? You get a shrimp. Yes. You get a big one because you just yes. caught a fish. Let's go. Where the hogs, where the hogs, where the hogs at. <laughs> That's what I was saying. If we're getting overrun by grunts, we can move a little bit. What you got? Fish? Porgy. Oh, swing and a miss. Bonnie's on. Be a gag, guys. A little better? This drag's pretty tight. Let's go. Come on. Let it be a keeper hog or something. Oh, my oh, God. Big hog, big hog, big hog. Big hog. Move, 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 move. Oh, my God. I'm coming. I'm coming. Big. Oh, 
Let's get him, Brent. Get him, bro. Get him. Woo! Yes. Nice. Yes. Let's go. That's nice. sick, dude. That's a nice one. Stop. Dude, dude nice one. Here. Bring him Whoa. up here. Nice. Oh my god. Not a bad one for your first hog. Gag Hooper. The way he's pulling. That might be a hog. Better? He dug really quick. It feels lighter now. Big porgy. Oh, that's a big porgy. That's a big porgy. That looks better. Is that a hog? Looks like a good fish. It's a little heavier. Let it be a hog. Be a hog. Oh, mangrove. Snapper. That's a good one. We're keeping it. Yeah. Wow. That's a better one. That's awesome. Dude, they are bright red down there right now. Yeah. I thought it was a little hog when he was coming up because he, he's cold too. Probably a solid 13 incher right there. So we have sheep's head, porgy, hogfish, and now mangrove snapper. Not too bad for not even like moving. Like we literally just have been really on one spot this entire time. Feels better. Big porgy. Big porgy. Now it's time for us to roll. Oh, are you on again? Yep. Wow. That looks better. Better fish? It is digging. Another porgy. Got him? Oh, that looks better. That looks better. Putting a nice bend in my ride. Not, not a monster big though. Grunt. Big grunt. Not a big one. Oh, grunt. Well, little grunt. A grunt but yes. Digging. What you got there? Definitely not digging. I say it's a porgy. I mean, it was digging. I say it's a porgy. Or like a four and a half. Porgy. Inch. Solid. Sick, dude. All right, so let's get started. You got beautiful piece of hogfish right here. Gave my parents one filet. I was just gonna keep one so I could do this little catchy cook and show you guys basically my first time ever making a blackened hogfish or blackened anything sandwich. So I'm trying to recreate my favorite one which is down at the Hungry Tarpon down by Robbie's in Isla Mirada. And all it is is just hogfish, some blackening season which I'll talk about in a little bit, brioche bun, a little bit of less, a little bit of tomato, like super simple. And this is a seasoning that Thani swore by and he says it's very good, so I'm gonna take his word for it and test it out today. First, you gotta melt some butter. You're gonna use that to kind of coat the fish and then put the seasoning on that. And before we do that, I just wanna mention that I have my pan heating up right now to a pretty high heat. And everywhere that I've read and looked about for blackening says you need to be in a well-ventilated area. So I'm gonna turn my fan on pretty high and I got all my windows open, so let's hope it doesn't get too smoky in here, but let's melt some butter. So you got a healthy amount of butter. Stick it in the microwave for a little bit. That should be good. Yep, butter's all melted. And now I'm just gonna put the fish right into the butter. Make sure it's nice and coated. You could do this with olive oil also, but I'm gonna go with butter. Now lay it down. Now is where we take our seasoning and open this up. We just bought this from Publix. Never tried this before. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it on there. You want a you want a good amount on there. Okay, that should be good. So I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but I'm thinking about taking the rest of the butter and putting it on there before I put the fish on. That might be where I mess up, we'll find out, but I'm gonna have to turn the fan on before I do this because it's gonna be a very quick process. I'm gonna put the butter on, put the fish on, the season side down, and while that's down, I'm gonna 
take the some more seasoning do the other side but it's gonna be smoky and loud apparently from everywhere I read and it's gonna be about two and a half three minutes on each side so let the festivities begin got the fan on fish Really not as smoky as I thought it would be. It smells really good though. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Butter everywhere. Oh my, that looks very good. All right, so I think that's been long enough. Yeah, it's falling apart right there. So it's gonna be two separate chunks. And now I read, I'll turn that off. I read that you're supposed to let it sit for about five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the sandwich part of it ready. Cut a tomato right quick. There we go. I'm actually gonna try something. This might be dumb. I'm gonna try toasting the bun right quick. Put it right on there for a little bit while it's still hot. There we go. Got a little charred right there, but that's fine. There we go, perfect. Put that back over. So I got tomato ready to go. A little bit of lettuce ready to go. Let's go ahead, put the fish on. Stack up. Let's try a little bit of this fish first. A little end piece right there. Yeah, that'll definitely work. Then slice the tomato on that. Stack up some lettuce on top of that. And you got your bun. That is a good looking sandwich to me. Moment of truth. How did this turn out? I'm gonna try and get a bite. Right there, that's gonna be the bite around that corner. Here we go. That might be one of my favorite things I've ever done for a Captain Cook. That is so good. The only thing it's missing, I would say, is like some sort of condiment, like a horse radish or something to dip it in. But even just like this, it is very good. That seasoning, Thani, you're right about that seasoning. That seasoning is very good. I could eat this every day of my life and be happy about it. If you guys have any other recipes you want me to try in future videos, or if you have any recommendations you could have for different ways to blacken fish, please let me know. Even though this one turned out great, I'm always open to new ideas. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.